hi, my name is Abby Schaefer. Um, I'm originally from Fort Worth, Texas. Um, I'm a senior here at Penn studying finance and real estate. And post-grad, I am working for JP Morgan in their investment banking division in the mergers and acquisition group. So I went into Penn. I can tell you from the get-go, I had no idea what investment banking was. And like when you get to Penn and when you get to Wharton, it can definitely feel very overwhelming. And I was fortunate enough to find um, a lot of mentorship throughout my time at Penn and at Wharton. And I joined the Wharton Undergraduate Finance Club and I also joined, I joined Wharton cohorts as well. And through those clubs, I was able to get exposure to um, what, what it was like to work in investment banking and also um, the facets of private equity and consulting and to see what was best fit for me. So I got introdu introduction through these clubs. And then also I decided through my coursework, I took um, advanced um, corporate finance, which is finance 2030. And, um, and I also took intro or no, it was buyouts and acquisitions, finance 250 or 25. Sorry, it makes it 251 is how I call it, but it's 2510, I think now. And um, I think that that really got me exposure to what it's like to work in investment banking and what the job is like. And then I found myself really leaning towards like the quantitative side of things and also that I, um, that I really enjoyed modeling and I really enjoyed working with numbers. And so that's kind of what led me into wanting to apply to investment banking jobs. And then going through the interview process, I really loved the firm that I had worked for. I was really fortunate that I was one and done with interviews. I had a really great support system behind me. And um, it was my three of my friends, um, or was, there was three of us, and we would just study every single night. Um, and we would run mock interviews, and they were doing it too. And I, I do remember, though, telling myself, like, if I go through this internship and I don't like it, and I don't like the work that I'm doing, or if I don't like the people that I'm surrounding myself with, then I'm not going to go back. And I was extremely fortunate that I really, really loved the work that I was doing. I loved the people I was with. I found the work very fulfilling to me, like for mergers and acquisitions in particular. Um, I kind of see investment banking as a way that, um, as a way that kind of shapes the way that consumers um, think and will act in the future, which I think is something that's really incredible. Um, and there's like a large scale to it as well. So um, it changes the way that like consumers will act like with the Kraft Heinz merger, for example. So now that people will shop differently and there are different interactions between companies. And so I think that that's something that's really significant and it really, I can see the impact in what I'm doing, which is why I really like it. I think Penn students worry too much about what other people are doing. I think that you're not gonna better yourself by looking at others and seeing what they're doing. And you know what, it's hard not to. Like, yeah, I was late in the cycle for my year for getting a job offer and I freaked myself out over, oh my God, this person has this offer, this person's doing this. Like when I even got to Penn and Wharton, these people had already started their own companies and done all this crazy stuff and had learned so much about business, knew what investment banking was. And I was like, I'm so far behind. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Like how do these people already have their 20 year, 50 year plan? by now by only being 19, 18, 19 year olds. And I think that that's something that Penn students just spend way too much time on. And so it's, you should really focus on like bettering yourself and working as much as you can, because you know what, like you're, you're not other people. Yes, like you're always gonna find somebody that's smarter, like um, who works harder, who has more time, but you know, you have to just do what's best for you and try and just better yourself and better your own accomplishments by doing so. I'm anxious about living in New York City. I am originally from Fort Worth, Texas. I mean, I moved to Philly. I, I don't, I've, I mean, I lived there over the summer, but I think it's still a whole new ball game. And just being, um, being like in the work world um, for the first time ever, I think is something that's very scary. I mean, all we've ever known is school. Like we went from what three years old to now and we've done school and we've had summer breaks and we've had spring breaks and winter breaks and i don't get that in the work world so i think trying to find the balance between um between having fun and still like being true to myself um even though i'm in a working setting is something that i'm gonna have to learn and i'm a bit anxious for but i'm 
very fortunate to have people that I'm going to be there with that make me feel comfortable and make me feel um, make me feel like myself and that I'm going to be able to tackle this transition. Uh, I passionately believe that you should go through life without fear, which not that that is going to happen, but I think that seizing every opportunity that you're afforded is extremely important and it can lead to some of the most incredible experiences and meeting people um, that you may never have met before and so I think that um, what I told myself freshman year going into college was if you have an opportunity to um, go and do something you should go and do it because why not you never know what's going to come from it and go to that party go to um, go to that speaker series if you're the least bit interested. Go to the go to the club info session because you really never know what's going to come from it because opportunities come in the strangest of ways. And so I think you should really live life to the fullest and do anything that you want to do because you can do it. I promise you there's some way that you'll be able to find it. And um, and I think that any any way that you can try and seize those opportunities, you should do it.